Hey, hey, hey. I'm Anderson. I'll be your ASVAB coach. And so right before we start, remember, if you want to learn about my full program, just feel free to text me. 567-698-8867. I'm going to show you that one most affordable program out there. It's really affordable. And on top of that, you get everything you need. Live classes, recordings, extra practice, video solutions, ability to text me whenever you need help. You get study guides and strategies. And if you need extra one-on-one -on -one help, it's only available to those in the program. So with that said, go ahead, text me about it, or go to my website, duranlearning.com. That way you can learn more about it and sign up so you can raise your score. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and ace the ASVAB here. Let's get to it. So what we have over here is this. A times B minus C. Okay, that's pretty random, right? But what are we looking for? Well, what we're looking for is we want to determine the outcome of the expression above. And what we see is that A, B, and C are negative. A and B are even, and C is odd. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This might be confusing, but here's what we need to do. Notice that there are two types of descriptions given. We have one where we're referring to A, B, and C as either positive or negative. And on the other hand, we're referring to A, B, and C as either even or odd. Right there. You see that? We're either even or odd or positive or negative. Now, let me ask you this. Are there rules for how we deal with evens and odds when multiplying and dividing? Are there rules for dealing with positives and negatives? when multiplying and dividing or adding and subtracting as well? Aren't there rules? Yeah, there are, absolutely. So check this out. First, we're gonna handle the signs, positive, negative. I'm gonna show you how you can determine what the result's gonna be nice and easy. Watch this. So I'm gonna go ahead over here and first talk about the signs over here. I use purple. So we'll talk about the signs right here. And then I'll come back in this space and I'll deal with the even oddness. So what we see here is that A, B, and C are all what? Negative. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do here is this. I'm going to rewrite A times B minus C. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace A, B, and C with negative. Or you can replace it with a negative number. Either way is fine. Either way is fine. And if you wanna go ahead and just replace all of the numbers with examples of what those numbers would be, that also works. So there's two main ways to do this, is what I'm saying. One is proof by example, and the other is proof by comprehension. They both work out the same exact way, but the easier one for a lot of people is gonna be the proof by example. So let me actually just go ahead and start with that first to show you exactly what I mean so you can see what I'm saying. So a, B, and C are negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write A, B, and C. And they're, both, they're all going to be negative. So I'll just write negative, negative, negative. And then we see that A and B are even. So I'll say negative 2 and negative 2. Again, those are even numbers. You can use the same number for both. Didn't say you couldn't. And then here, C is odd. So I'll just say negative, I'll say negative 1. Negative one is fine, right? Uh, one is odd and it's negative, so we're good. And so what we're gonna do here, we can do a proof by example where we basically plug in these numbers. So right here, negative two times negative two. And then we have minus, this is where you have to be careful, this is the trick here. There's already a minus right there. And so what we need to make sure we do is we plug in the negative one right after you gotta make sure you do that because if not you're gonna get confused and you're sitting here like wait the negative was already there so just plug in one no if it's a minus a number and that number is negative it's minus negative be careful there so with that let's take care of business we have negative two times negative two that's going to be a positive negative times a negative is positive two times two is four and then here we have minus a negative, minus a negative. So subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So we have four plus one, and that is five. 
And what we know about this is that this is positive and odd. There is our answer. Positive, odd. Boom. E. There's your answer. So again, that's proof by example. That's one way that you can do it. Um, but here's the thing. You won't always be able to do a proof by example for everything. So let me just show you what it looks like when it comes to comprehension. So basically understanding the signs and how they're going to work and the even odd and how those are going to work. That's something that you should look forward to being able to do because if not, then you're kind of missing out on those tougher looking questions that actually aren't that tough. So the signs, I'm gonna go ahead and plug them in here. We know that they're all gonna be negative. Remember, all negative. So right here, I'm gonna plug in a negative times a negative minus a negative. So a negative times a negative right here, that's gonna be a positive. And remember that if you subtract a negative, you're adding a positive. So if you're adding a positive with another positive, the result has to be positive, right? Has to be positive. So we know for a fact that by using the signs, we know that we need to get a positive number. And so we can get rid of A and we can get rid of C. Those are both negatives. We see right there, negative, negative. So those are both gone. Now, if we work on the other side over here and we work on the even odd, so plugging those in, remember this. Remember that A and B are even and C is odd. So what we're going to do here is we have A times B. Remember, A times B minus C. So remember this. We are going to have even with A times even with B. And then we're going to subtract an odd number. Because C is odd. And last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. Well, here's the thing. An even number times an even number is gonna result in an even number. Two times two, four. Two times four, eight. Six times four, 24, even. All of those examples are even, even, even. Now, if we have an even minus an odd, how is that gonna affect everything? Well, think about it like this. You can use examples. You can do four minus one, that's three, odd. You can say 10 minus three, seven, odd. You can say 14 minus 5, 9, odd. You can think of examples, or you can know the rules. Even plus even is even. Odd plus odd is even. Even plus odd is odd. And you can interchange the plus and minus, but either way, even minus odd gives you odd. So with that said, we have positive, odd, right there. Odd, positive, and that just reinforces the answer that we have. And so my party people, just wanted to show you, you know, there's two separate ways to do this. Um, again, the first way works with when it's a little simpler like this, but you do want to make sure that you understand how to reason with this, because if not, then you, again, are leaving points on the board. And so if you want to keep raising your score and you feel like I can help you out, I got your back. I got you. So go ahead, shoot me a text. There's my number, 567-698-8867. I'm Anderson. I'm your ASVAB coach, and I've got your back. It's AC ASVAB, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.